Hi guys, welcome to KK Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss part second of lecture 13. Here is a brief discussion. You can see a summary of the previous lecture 13 part first, which we discussed. The relation of term symbol using fusion hole diagram. Tools for construction or constructing fusion hole diagram, total fusion gases, pure multiplicity. And you are aware of the fact that the small letter should represent subshell, where the capital letter L represent term, spectroscopic term. So when small L is equal to zero, the subshell can be denoted by small letter whereas in case if we represent any term with a capital letter then definitely we go towards the capital of L so this there is a slight difference between small and a, and a capital L so now that if L is 1, S is 1, as we have discussed earlier, and the value of J is 2, 1, 0, the term will be, spectroscopic term will be, term symbol actually will be, P triplet, or triplet P, 2, 1, 0 okay you can also separate it the same case for L for if L is 2 this is 0 term will be D1 by calculating the J value it will become you can say 2 so the term symbol will be single letter D2 the same is the case with uh, L is equal to 0. So here in this case, the term symbol is a 1 is a 0. So here we have total, you can say, 5 term symbols in which triplet P0 is the ground state and the rest one are a excited state of term symbols. Okay. Here is another tricky way to arrange electron in 15 possible ways. Okay. So as we have discussed previously in lecture 13, part 1, you can also arrange these electrons in a similar fashion okay like we have done while utilizing fusion hole diagram so the same type the same number of term symbols we can uh, obtain uh, from this very arrangement it is not a partial diagram actually we perform these things with partial diagram because from partial diagram we can obtain the desire the required term symbols well as we have discussed in pigeon hole diagram so here is a brief summary uh, for pigeon hole diagram we know that for p l is equal to 1 so there are two electron l1 will be equal to L1 plus L2 up to L1 minus L2 will get a 2 1 0 that suggests that the terms will be D P and S for two electron the most positive value suppose we take the most positive value like P
plus 0 plus 1 and 0 so the ml value will be 1 in this case forget about the minus value because it is not the highest one yes it's just a repetition of the pigeonhole diagram okay the total s in this case will be 1 and 0 so total multiplicity will be 1 and 3 so by calculating the j value through this formula we can get total you can say 1 2 3 4 5 j values and the term symbols will also be the same as were derived by utilizing the pigeonhole diagram actually we are just trying to derive term symbols by using different techniques different methods okay here if we want to determine any term symbols mean if any term symbol has been determined and this has been find out it will it mean that ls or all uh, or scoupling exists over there or you can say that in any type of term symbol calculation you will have to use ls or rs coupling a scheme here a singlet doublet triplet a singlet mean that both the electrons are paired okay if both electrons are paired you put this one and spin multiple formula will get singlet in the similar way doublet triplet and quartet okay Well, here is another shortcut method for the determination of a term symbols. You can say deri while deriving term symbols, you can use this one because it is a shortest one. It can save your time while setting an exam. So actually, diagonal method is used for those systems having two electrons over here ml for second electron ml for first electron it is combined when these are combined like ml1 plus ml2 we will get this these values okay the span multiplicity above the diagram will be triplet and below the diagonal it will be sorry above the diagonal it will be singlet and below the diagonal it will be a triplet one okay so the same set of you can say same set number of set also can be observed over here set one mean where L the maximum L is equal to 1 so a triplet set of course it will be P means P triplet here maximum value is 2 mean D term will be D singlet singlet D here another value also exists that is 0 the extra one this one here, 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 here it is D or here, 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 here it is D and it is S or here this one, this one, this one is a D, this one is S. So by this way we can also determine the term symbols while using a while using the diagonal method. Here, the same number of total symbols have been determined or derived while using uh, the diagonal method. In the previous lecture, there were slight typos mistakes. Two was not written over here. 
So, okay, excuse that. And similar way, we have written over here 1 d 2 and 1 d 1. I have eliminated d 1 from here, while I have used that one in the previous lecture, which was just like a typo mistake while writing something. You did sometime a mistake. So, do not consider that one, just consider 1 d 2, 3 p 2, 3 p 1, 1 is 0 or singlet d 2, triplet p 2, triplet p 1 and singlet s 0. Now, another question is how we can arrange all these term symbol in order of a energy. We know by Horn's rule, we know that if a subshell is uh, less than half filled, we will have to choose that term symbol is a ground state having a lower value of J. Here 3P0, 3P1, 3P2. All these are triplet and triplet state, but as the system is less than half filled P2, so we will have to choose that term symbol having a lowest J value. Here is the energy order, ground state, triplet P0 have 0 energy and it is increasing while going from P0 towards singlet S0. Here 2J plus 1, you will be thinking about these value 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. Actually, this means like 2J, 2 plus for S we have 0j 0 plus 1 mean 2 multiplied by 0 plus 1 it will give you 1 value that is 1 it mean we have just 1 value over here 2 multiplied by 2 plus 1, it will give us a, a maximum 5 values and we know that when L is 2, there will be D and D we have 5 orbitals, there will be 5 value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The same you can calculate 2M is equal to 2J plus 1 for the rest of the thermal symbols. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, share and like this video. Thank you.